guess who we're painting today? EXO is late. So, if you've seen my last Paint With Me video, you've probably already seen the teasers of me painting Lei. EXO recently just made a comeback with Lei, so I decided it would be a good idea to paint him this time. By the way, if you're new to this channel, welcome! My name is Rika, and if you like this type of content, please make sure to subscribe. Right now, I'm just using the grid method to copy lay onto the canvas. When you're using this method, just make sure to always use about the same like surface area ratio, is that what you call it, um, to the printed page that you're copying it from. My canvas size is 16 by 20 and this is actually the biggest size I've done for my wall collection. So after sketching it out, I take a paint pen and then I just go over the lines once again just to have a clearer, um, more visible lines and details. Next up, I'm just filling up my new palette with some of the paint that I thought were the only colors I was going to need for this specific painting. But if you guys watch till the end, you will realize that I did something completely different from what I would normally do. And I definitely, definitely needed more colors than just these five. So make sure to watch till the end to see what I did with the painting. Now as you can see, I'm just doing the underpaint. This is just a base color. After that has dried out, I decided to do a second coat of the black paint just because this black paint that I'm using is a little bit transparent or uh, translucent. So you need a couple of layers to make sure you don't see the canvas underneath. Now it's time to do the shading. So as usual, I would use the darkest color first. If you guys would like a tutorial on how I make my skin tone shades, then I have a link to that. I made a video on it. You can just click the link on top of the video. Now I got a little bit busy so I had to leave this painting for a few days and this is just me coming back to it. I was trying to fix the shading a little bit but for some reason this is the part where I was feeling a bit frustrated and just restless and I just really didn't like how the painting was turning out. It looked good but it felt a little bit boring. So I decided to take the risk, step back and add a little bit more excitement to this painting. 